The movie starts by introducing us to a woman driving along a road until she comes across a field filled with small donkeys. She gets out of her car and sadly shoots one of the donkeys, leading to its death. David's wife has decided to leave him for another man. They have a conversation that shows in their relationship they had better days. David's wife states her intention to leave and it becomes obvious that their marriage has come to an end. So he has been brought to a hotel to find another partner. David is with his dog Bob, who used to be his brother but was transformed into a dog because he was unable to find a partner. The hotel, a secluded establishment where single people are brought to find a romantic partner within 45 days. If they are unable to find a romantic partner in that time, they will be turned into an animal of their choice. When David arrives at the hotel, he is greeted by the staff. He is given a set of rules and regulations to follow during his stay. These rules include attending daily events and activities designed to encourage guests to pair up. According to the rules of dating, it is mandatory for couples to share a common defining characteristic. In David's case, he is short-sighted, so it would make sense for him to find a partner who also has this characteristic. David opens up about his past and reveals that his wife, after 11 years of marriage, decided to leave him for another short-sighted man. Once he arrives at his room, the hotel manager and her husband give him a briefing on the hotel's rules. When asked by the manager what type of animal he would like to be if he does not find a partner, David replies that he would choose to be a lobster. This is because lobsters have a lifespan of over 100 years and are fertile throughout their whole lives. As David settles into his room, he observes the other residents of the hotel, all of whom are single like him. They engage in social interactions, sometimes awkwardly, as they try to form connections in order to avoid being turned into animals. Inside the hotel, David participates in various activities and events organized by the staff to create romantic connections. These activities include group exercises, discussions, and even performances. The residents are expected to actively engage with each other and strive to find compatible partners. During these interactions, David meets and talks with other single individuals staying at the hotel. Robert and John, two individuals with distinct qualities. One has a lisp and the other has a limp. They as well are on a quest to find potential partners who share their unique traits. As they glance around the dining area, they come across a lady with a constant nosebleed and another woman who seems heartless and shows no emotions. However, there is no one whose qualities perfectly match their own. They discuss their strategies for finding a partner and share personal experiences. The tone is often awkward and forced as the residents are under pressure to find a suitable match within 45 days. If you think that is too short, please subscribe to the channel. During a gathering, individuals who are single are invited to step forward and share about their unique qualities. John remembers how he got a limp when he visited his mother who had transformed into a wolf. He is present at the gathering because his wife passed away some time ago. Likewise, the others also share their personal experiences. Throughout the day, the participants are given opportunities to talk with potential partners. At a dance party, David approaches a girl who frequently has nosebleeds and asks her to dance. However, he soon realizes that they do not share any common attributes. Following that, they are instructed to go into the forest to search for the loners. These individuals are the ones who escaped from the hotel due to their refusal to undergo the transformation into animals. Running away from the possibility of being sent back by the city police, they form a community and establish their new home in the woods. The singles, on the other hand, are authorized to pursue them by using tranquilizers. Once captured, the loners are brought back to the hotel and sent to the process of being transformed into animals. The number of loners caught by the singles will be added to their remaining days in the hotel. On the first day, David fails to capture any loners, leading to a fast decline in his remaining days. The most skilled hunter among the singles is a heartless woman who manages to eliminate around 10 loners in a single hunt. Furthermore, the hotel enforces weird rules, including the need for a maid to stimulate the men at night, aiming to accelerate their quest for a partner. That looks like a great way to motivate people. One day, Robert is caught red-handed touching himself, and as punishment, his hand is placed in the painful heat of a toaster. In their next hunt, David finds himself seated beside a woman known for her love of butter biscuits. Despite her attempts to engage him, even offering sexual favors, David remains disinterested. However, during their conversation, she shares a secret with him, sharing her plan to jump from her window if she fails to find a partner within a certain time frame. 
During the next event gathering, John and the girl with a nosebleed are announced as a couple and are relocated to a shared room. However, a few days later, the girl who enjoyed her butter biscuits tragically takes her own life by jumping from her window. Although witnessing her suffering, the no emotion girl heartlessly looks at her without offering any help. With only a week remaining to find a partner, David decides to approach the heartless girl, pretending to share her emotionless view towards others' lives. The woman, seeking someone removed from any emotions like herself, becomes interested in David. They spend time together, engaging in conversation, all while David sticks to his straight face. Good luck with this one, David. The following day, in a hot tub, the woman decides to stage her own death as a test to test David's emotions. Surprisingly, he remains seated and completely ignores her act. This revelation leads the woman to understand that David shares her non-emotional life, making her enter into a romantic relationship with him. Afterwards, they are assigned a shared room and granted permission to engage in activities typically reserved for couples, including playing tennis and enjoying intimate dining experiences at a table for two. During the hunting game, David witnesses a fellow resident being accidentally killed by another resident. This event creates tension and shows us the consequences of the crazy pressure to find a partner within the set time frame. They continue their relationship as a couple for a few days, but the heartless girl starts to notice moments of emotional vulnerability from David during their intimate encounters. In an attempt to test him, she deliberately kicks his dog brother to death one morning. Initially, David tries to brush it off, claiming it is not a problem, but the woman eventually discovers him crying in the bathroom. In response, she forcefully drags him through the hotel's corridors, intending to expose his fake act to the manager. However, before she can do so, David swiftly knocks her out using a tranquilizer gun. The maid saw the incident, but promises to keep it a secret. Fueled by the desire for revenge because of his dead brother, David decides to repeatedly kick the heartless girl in the stomach, but decides on an alternative plan. Too bad, David. I wish you wouldn't stop kicking her to revenge the dog for all of us watching. Together with the maid, David takes the heartless girl to the transformation room, where she undergoes the same process that turned others into animals. Following her transformation, David finally escapes from the hotel, leaving it behind once and for all. In the woods, he encounters a group of loners led by their own leader. While one might think he has found a new home among the kind-hearted individuals, he soon discovers that the leader is just as cold-hearted as the hotel manager. The leader enforces strict rules, punishing the loners for engaging in romantic or sexual relationships. They inform David of a recent incident where two individuals had their lips cut off as punishment for flirting. David can't catch a break. Poor guy. After explaining the group's rules, they offer David a place within their ranks, welcoming him into their midst. In the middle of the loners, a girl with black hair and nearsightedness notices David for the first time and feels an instant attraction towards him. However, due to the rules among the loners, she can only engage with him as a friend. During the evening when the hotel guests arrive for the hunt, Robert manages to capture David. Desperate to save his life, David claims that Robert is his best friend, but Robert remains decisive in his pursuit, driven by the fact that he only has two days left before he is turned into an animal. Unexpectedly, the black-haired girl strikes Robert from behind, rescuing David. In the meantime, the hotel maid is revealed to be meeting with the leader of the loners during each hunting session, informing her about the hotel's activities. The maid, unhappy with her husband, is hesitant to leave him because in doing so, that would make her become a guest at the hotel. Afterwards, she and the leader create a plan to attack and seize control of the hotel. Every month, two loners pretend to be a couple and walk into the city to gather essential supplies. This time, the leader and her partner select the black-haired girl and David for the mission. While at the mall, a police officer notices David alone and interrogates him about his partner, demanding a marriage certificate. Fortunately, the black-haired girl intervenes, saving David from the officer's team. Several days later, the loners finally prepare themselves to launch their long-awaited attack on the hotel. That night, they secretly enter the building with the help of the maid and hold the manager and her husband as hostages. They demand the husband to shoot his wife to save himself. The husband, who doesn't care about his wife, shoots her without hesitation. However, they soon discover that the gun was not loaded. The purpose of the abduction was to reveal the couple's lack of care for each other and their hollow relationship. Meanwhile, David visits John and the girl with the nosebleed, confessing that he had faked the nosebleeds to be with her. That was cold, David. After proving their point, the loners quickly leave and return to the woods. 
That night, the maid joins the loner group. Over the next few days, the black-haired girl and David grow closer and develop feelings for each other. They plan to escape from the group so they can be together. The girl documents their plans in her journal. However, before they can carry out their plan, the leader reads the journal and discovers their affair. Pissed off by the betrayal, she doesn't confront them directly. Instead, some days later, she takes the black-haired girl to the city under the act of fixing her short-sightedness, but instead intentionally makes her go blind. Upon their return to the woods, the black-haired girl discovers the truth and attempts to kill the leader. Tragically, she accidentally kills the hotel's maid instead. Surprisingly, the leader spares her life and allows her to reunite with David. At first, she hides her blindness, fearing that he might leave her now that they no longer share similar attributes. However, she eventually confesses the truth. David, seeming unsettled, decides that he wants to stay with her and helps her navigate using her other senses of touch and smell. Over the next few days, they attempt to find other shared qualities, but are unsuccessful. Determined to not let go of each other, David suggests they eliminate the leader and escape from the woods. They put their plan into motion during the night. David manages to capture the leader and throws her into an open grave. Some time later, a pack of wild dogs approach and begin tearing up her body. Meanwhile, David and the black-haired girl disguise themselves and escape from the woods. Eventually, they reach a diner in the city. David has made the decision to blind himself so they can have matching qualities. They engage in a long conversation about the drastic choice and request a knife from the waiter. David stands up and heads toward the bathroom with the intention of blinding himself, but hesitates midway. The movie ends, leaving us uncertain about whether they were able to lead a normal life or not.